augmented and virtual reality are massive business trends at the moment and companies need to keep a close eye on those developments. In the past it was more virtual reality where we create completely virtual worlds and experience them through goggles. At the moment the biggest trend is augmenting our reality using either glasses or even more likely our smartphones and tablets to change and overlay objects onto the real world. So we have seen this in Pokemon Go for example where you simply point your smartphone into any part of the world and then you would try to find these little Pokemon. I've seen massive and really interesting applications of this. Recently been involved with Rolex where they have developed a a augmented reality tool that allows you to try on your Rolex on your arm so you can change the different models and you see what they actually look like on your arm. Makeup companies are now doing this. They allow you to try out different makeup styles. Um, companies like IKEA have produced a place app that allows you to place bits of their furniture into your rooms to see what they will actually look like. Or companies like Dulux who produce paints allow you to try different shades of paints in your actual room to see what it looks like. We see really powerful applications in healthcare where um, augmented reality can be used to, to um, place organs and identify organs in your body and even in engineering tasks where you simply look at a car engine and it can be labeled. It even can help laymen like me, if I wanted to change my oil by myself, I could use one of those apps and it will then tell me where the cap is that I have to open, where to fill in the oil. So overlaying virtual reality or digital components onto the real world. Virtual reality is a bit different, where we completely immerse ourselves in a completely new world. Cool applications I've recently seen is a virtual theme park where you can basically wander through, you can get onto a ride and then you experience those rides in VR and they feel really, really real. Um, the other area I've seen is using VR to visualize data. So if we produce graphs, we can only see them on two dimensions. In VR, we can actually dive into those graphs and look at data from different angles, looking at, at three-dimensional graphs, for example. And another really cool example is a virtual conference center, where you can walk into the conference center virtually, take your seat and watch the speaker in a virtual environment, which is pretty cool. What I'm seeing is that this technology is really fast evolving, lots of new New applications are being developed day by day, so businesses need to keep a very close eye on it. And this is also one of the areas I, I myself keep a close eye on, so have a look on my website at bernardmar.com where you can find lots of articles and real-life applications of both AR and VR.